Hey guys, Silence Yo here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video. It is still currently the event for Dakiro Baby, uh, but you know, whenever there's an event, there's tendency of a second Gacha coming around. So this time around, it is Reina who is featuring her crossover costume with a very strange name. <laughs> so let's take a look at Reina's episode plate which unlocks Reina's crossover Tingle costume. I I'm not joking, that's the name of the costume, Tingle. So get your spider senses ready as we blow our minds with what kind of episode plate Reina's episode plate might be. So let's take a look at the stats, or rather the last page first, <laughs> with no special notes attached to it so that's kind of a bummer because usually this page is the one that determines how high up in the tier ranking an episode plate will be so no special notes attached to it that's okay as long as probably the stats and the skills are decent enough it should be somewhere in the higher end tier all right so oh 3,583 total stats, that's not a great value, definitely under the mid-tier range, focusing on voice, which is very strange, cause the current event for Dakero Baby focuses on soul and charm for high score users, so I don't know, does Reyna actually not help out in this event? Or so the episode plate does give you those bonus points that you need. Hmm. <laughs> so center skill S rank voice up. So unit's voice is boosted by 90% up. Pretty fantastic center skill with a very nice high percentage given. Active skill. Oh, we have the brand new active skill that was included with Mikumo's episode plate. Uh, combo bonus. So if you guys are not familiar with it, it well, basically it lasts for 10 seconds. Then of course for every 50 combo you have attained, you gain a 20% boost in score. So like in the last few videos, like Milene's episode played, uh, which had the same skill, but for a live skill usage, it's pretty much the same thing. It's a double edged sword active skill or rather a skill in general if you don't have the combo you will definitely not be getting a very nice boost in high score when the skill is activated so you really really gotta practice learn how to full combo retain combo you know maybe include live skill episode plates uh, which actually help prevent combo breaking that's probably how you can benefit from this current format of skill and yeah so Reina's episode plate comes with a S rank life skill as well so for 30 seconds already at the 30 second mark for 12 seconds you have an easier time tapping notes so basically Reina's life skill kind of helps itself but you can't have her episode plate as an active skill and of course, the live skill activating, it doesn't work that way. So you still need episode plates uh, around it to help support this active skill in general. So yeah, so is Reina's episode plate worthwhile? I would say not really, considering it does come with the brand new active skill, but that total score kind of puts it in the lower tier rating or rather the mid tier rating uh, as of this point of time since I'm still collating a tier ranking for all the episode plates uh, available in the game so yeah if you want to invest your money into this gacha just consider it as an investment for her costume because you need it for the crossover missions so like always, I will update you guys on the crossover missions right now. Then of course, I will update it on my YouTube Facebook page later on. Once again, link is in the description down below. 
Alright, so let's take a look at the missions for Reyna. So we have Reyna's missions here as usual. The first one is a generic one, just basically have Reyna wearing the costume and clear any song. Then of course, the other two will be specific songs. So we have Koi Haration The War and of course, Good Job. So that's pretty much it. Um, currently, these two songs are not within the event uh, song list itself. So I would hold off to playing these missions until after the current event ends. When you have that break in between before the Red Boss event starts. So yeah, um, although you will have to take note though. Um, there is still 11 days before the entire mission list disappears. So if you have not gotten Milane's costume, um, which requires you to clear this mission uh, that needs you to play Dakelo Baby, which is the current event song, please remember to try and unlock Milane's costume. Uh, after all, her costume points are attainable through all the episode plates given within the current event itself. It is possible to unlock the costume halfway via all the episode plates given to you through the event. Uh, that is, if you have been working hard enough, then of course, if you have no luck within Milane's gacha, then you have to use the episode orbs to fulfill the rest of the remaining points to unlock her costume. Then, to clear this current mission, if not, you're gonna end up losing 5 Nyan Kuji tickets, which is very very crucial um, for pulling out all the Mikimoto uh, key art episode plates from Nyan Kuji itself. So alright, enough babbling, let's get down to the gacha. We're gonna pull Reina's gacha. I am planning maybe to do... A total of 800 singing stone pools, so that's a total of 20 episode plates. Depending on what kind of horrible luck I have for the first discounted pool. So yeah, let's take a look and see if luck returns with Reina's gacha. Okay, so there was a bit of loading there. So I wouldn't keep my hopes up. Uh, usually quick loads doesn't mean anything. Oh, like we can see, we have terrible animations with no Valkyries at all. One red box? Oh god. It's just horrendous. Alright, let's skip all the common stuff and see what kind of horrendous poo we'll end up with. Alright. So, Reina's gacha does have quite a few plates that actually her, um, contain her episode... Um, points you know so oh, here we go the only red box okay so none of the plates in this gacha pool oh i was wrong so apparently goblin's episode plate contains points for reina's costume so that's pretty nice and we did evolve goblin's plate too so that's sweet all right so um, it seems like I have no choice. I'm definitely going to go for a second round. I thought I could, you know, save up on episode ops when it comes to unlocking Reina's costume. Alright, here we go. Second round. Very painful on the stones. But what's got to be done has to be done. Alright, we did get a bit of loading. So that's pretty nice. One. Uh oh. That's not good. At least give me some, you know, red boxes that contain... Oh, this one definitely is belonging to Reyna's costume. There we go, the first red box. No evolution to it. What's with all the Cheryl episode plates? Ah, uh, okay. Moving along. Lots of couple episode plates. Hmm? <laughs> oh, be careful. What is what is this lineup of images? <laughs> okay, so this pool is disappointing as well. Oh, do I really want to go for a third one? 
I mean, this episode plate does give me the costume points, but it's far from what we actually need to unlock the costume. Okay, guys, I I'm going for broke. This will be the last one. Throwing in 1,300 stones just for Ray Ray. Uh, I and it's not even if not even Ranka's gacha. Oh god. Okay, okay. Re uh, do things now and regret later. That's that's how life goes. <laughs> okay, we do get some loading, so hopefully that brings us to new episode plates. Yeah, three planes, four five. Woo! Nice. We get a rainbow orb. So definitely a guaranteed rainbow box. Here's the first red box. Ooh. The captain is looking very, very cool. Uh-oh. Is that a sign? Oh. Got happy Ramka now. Alright. Uh-oh. Why is everybody crying? That's not a good sign. I hope it's tears of joy though. Okay, here we go. Yay! We got it! Oh god! So happy! Oh goodness gracious me. Okay, so that definitely puts me to unlocking Reyna's costume. Much closer. Uh oh. Alright. Alright, so. I wonder which costume points does this episode plate get? Oh! The Gira Gira Summer Swimsuit for Cheryl? Huh. Alright, so pretty cool. Let's take a look and see how close I am to unlocking Reyna's costume. Oh no, I shouldn't be using this. I should be using the episode list. Here we go. Oh. We, we got three quarters away just from getting her episode plate. So there is a need to still use episode orbs to unlock it. But I definitely should have enough. So let's do this now. Alright. Alright, let's go straight for the costume points. Because who in the world wants to watch me power up the entire episode plate. That's just a waste of time, right? <laughs> Alright. Let's do this quickly. I think that's about it for this one. Yep. Oh. Missed out on one. There we go. The last plate. This should be it. Just double checking. Okay, so let's go to the page for the item usage. Here we go. So I do have um, quite a bit of episode ops still available. Um, I guess I'll just use the mid ones first. Oh, overshot. So let's use five of this. And of course, use up the tiny ones. There we go. So, we are going to unlock the costume right now. Alright, so fantastic stuff. Uh, costume gives total 5% up, which is pretty fantastic. It's going to help with that um, high score challenge within the current event itself, where you get rewarded 5 tickets of Nyankuji uh, for the Nyankuji. Uh, once you've hit the 2 million mark with Dakedo Baby, I have not been able to do it because... I have terrible uh, sets of episode plates under the star or yellow element setting. 
Uh, so I've only been able to reach like 1.9 million, still short of a bit. Uh, getting there, but struggling quite a bit, so... <laughs> Alright, so that's all for now, guys. Hopefully you guys find all the information useful as always. Let me know by hitting the like button to this video. And of course, give me your thoughts on Rena's episode plate or even uh, this current whole crossover live uh, mission and, you know, gacha fiasco to suck in all our money by Dana. You know, let me know what you guys think of the current month's events and how it is for you. And of course, as usual, let me know, you know, how is your own personal gacha pools like as well. So yeah, and until then guys, I'll see you guys in the next video of Uta Macross Gacha. Bye!